So we're going to load the vinyl into the cutter. And you just put the shiny side up into the back rollers here. And you're going to feed it through. And this is a little bit difficult to do. You actually want to do it with the machine off, I should say, because this blade could actually just start up and go over top of your fingers very bad. So we'll turn it off and we're going to feed it in. You kind of have to unroll it a little bit. Get it placed in here. Now, every time you roll this out, you have to make sure that all three pinchers are in the white zone. So you can see the white zones up at the top here. If they're not in the white zones, it's not going to cut. It won't register the print at all. So once you've got it lined up, you can put the pinchers down. There's little things at the very back here that you're going to put down. Okay. Another one on this side, you want to pull it relatively tight, make sure it's straight and aligned, and another little foot that you put down here for the pincher. And then there's another one here that kind of keeps things in place. Just make sure again that it's in the white area. Okay, so once that's done, you can turn it on and the printer is going to register. And the blade will go across. Be careful, keep your hands away from the machine. Anytime you turn it on or off, anytime it's in motion at all, it can start up at any time. So just keep your hands away. So there going to put a little mark in on this side just to do uh, let itself know where the end of the sheet is and that's it then it's ready to go so you come on over to your screen and make sure that your if you're doing multiples do not have one selected you have to kind of click off the screen okay so if they're all um, if, if they're not selected then it will actually print all of them if you have one selected it's only going to print the one so then you can go up and you've seen this in the other video where you just click on your uh, cutter tool here Hit OK. You're going to need to set the value. Right now we're working at 90. It was at 80. It's defaulted to 80. You got to press in 90 for the pressure. Okay, and it depends on the blade. So when you come in, if the machine's been used a lot, you'll find that the number will keep changing. And we'll try to make that available to you so you know, know <clears throat> exactly where it should be. So I'm at 90, and all I do is press output. And the machine will go on its own. When it's done, I'm just going to take a piece of scissors and just cut it off. That's it.